Okay, you're back with the Passion Fruit Walrus, and we are trying to get past one of the, uh, the disgusting smoke monsters. Which have turned up in this, uh, area of the, um, the labs that we've been exploring. Right then. So I wonder if it's worth trying the freeze, uh, bolt on that thing. I also wonder where the fuck we need to go. Hmm. Right, so I need to go that way. Bug the, the things in my way. Right, so... Uh, right. So how do I... There we go. Mm, yeah, freeze one. I only got one freeze thing, which is a bit shit. Hmm. Oh, what's that? Ah, oh, perfect time for a spot of reading. Report. Stem integration irregularities. We have begun to observe a new and unexpected side effect of stem integration in certain Union citizens. Haven't we read this already? The symptoms begin simply enough. Small mental breaks triggered by vestigial memory overlaps. Affected citizens begin to experience their old memories which leave them in a state of confusion. Rewriting their memories again is only a stopgap measure. Their new union designations serve only to confuse them further. Soon these small breaks develop into complete dissociation and eventually total physical metamorphosis. This phenomenon is currently affecting only 0. Uh, only yeah, 0.005% of the populace, but it's troubling nevertheless. Much was learned after the Beacon incident, but STEM is still experimental technology. We are isolating our studies while we continue to expand Union. It is imperative that we stop this before it escalates. Fair enough. Okay, so we've got a couple more of the corpse bashers by here. Oh shit. Oh crap. Um, right, I need a decent weapon. Uh, shotgun first. What the? Oh, okay. Can I destroy them or not? Oh shit. Shit. Right, run, 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 run. Okay, good. Right, I need... Uh, fuck what I need. Oh, come on! I want the gun, not the fucking... Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, fuck. Okay, run, 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 run. Come on, run, Sebastian. There's no point fighting these pricks. There's too many of them. Oh, crap. How the hell did I... Oh, fuck. What am I doing? Right. <sighs> oh, great. And there's a big one. Okay. Oh. <sighs> right. Okay. Right. Shit. Oh, come on. Aim. Ah. Oh, Fuck, now I'm out of ammunition. Um, right. Uh, shit. Why do I keep doing that? Right, okay. Oh, come on! <laughs> right, and stop. Take. Take it. Take it quick before the monster eats you. Oh, shit. Okay, now run. Run, you fucking idiot little policeman. Shit, run! Right. Yeah, that's the door. Run! Run, Sebastian! I don't care if your legs hurt. Fucking run! 
What the fuck? Oh, there we go. Right, good. Don't know what that does. Oh. Was there a... Why am I doing that? Okay, so... Five... Oh, okay, I've got seven rounds for the pistol, at least. Well, that was a bit of a hectic mess. So now we're by here. Looks like we're temporarily zombie-free. Okay, so what does the map think we're doing? Right, so we've got through here, so I just carry on then, I suppose. Is that the one I just used, or is that something new? Oh, voices. Behind door number four. Just listen. Listen. His voice will come. You've got to resist him. Hoffman, stand back. No, he doesn't know what he's doing. Of course he knows. Oh, great. I've got to fight this thing with Liam, seven rounds. Don't. What do you mean, Liam? Stand back. showed me the way. I am his now. I helped him hide. And in exchange, he gave me a new life. A life as a slave. You'll never understand. For that, you'll burn! Balanced individual. Right, okay. Run for you, what? You can't that piss. Um, right, okay. Uh, I've got an explosive thing somewhere. I won't come down easy. Oh, that's why there's all these bloody fire things. Right, and I need... Oh, good, that's the explosive one. Right, so... Okay, anything else I can use? Because I think I'm completely fucking out. Oh, I've got two. Oh, I've actually got ten. That's handy. Right, that'll be from the, uh... Shit. Well, pretty much the same as usual, actually. Right, uh... Let's have a syringe before we get completely dead. Uh, pull another one of those. Right, where is this prick now? There he is. Right. Come on, die, you bastard. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck off. Look. Ah, oh, this guy's almost as bad as Ethan from, Re uh, Ethan from Resident Evil 7. He's so fucking slow. I mean, you'd think you'd move a bit faster when there's a maniac with a flamethrower trying to kill you. What the hell am I doing? Uh, no, not that one. Oh, this one. No? Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Okay. Um, for fuck's sake, why have I lost... Oh, there we go. Right, okay. not played this in a little while. My controls are all up the bloody what's it. Right, okay. Right. Okay. Okay, prick face. Why 
Why won't you die? For fuck's sake. Why won't this prick die? Yeah, I might though. Uh, oh, fuck's sake. Right, okay. Last syringe. For fuck's sake, how much damage can this arsehole take? Run, you bastard. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. We're toast. fight this guy with. Oh, there's some, there's some rounds there. That's something. Ah, uh, great. Where's my fucking arrows? Why the hell would I want to be like you, you idiot? That's what I don't like about bosses like this. It's like, you're just constantly running around, you don't have enough ammunition, it's a pain in the ass. Oh, do you suppose he, he, you have to stealth kill him? I suppose it could be. So where is the prick now? Uh, he'll probably jump on us in a minute. We've hardly got any health left anyway. I'm going to have to try and redo this, but I'm not sure... ...exactly how that's going to work. Listen to him. You'll change your mind like you did mine. Not really, I just think I've got fuck all health left and you've got a massive flamethrower and you don't die like you ought to, you poxy guy. With the evil Womble. Now can I stealth kill him? Oh fuck! Shit! That's uh, probably... oh no, still... Oh well. Yes. He won't bother us anymore. Okay, so you can attack him with stealth. That's definitely worth giving a go. Let's see how he likes a knife in the back of the head. Ah, <sighs> dear, oh dear. Okay then. Let's try that again. Sebastian passes through the security gate in the laboratory, and now we'll never know. Right. Uh, right. All oh, right, we're back to the door again. Yeah, let's skip that. We've seen it already. Right. Bloody grenade launcher as well. Why has he got a grenade launcher and a fucking flamethrower? I mean, isn't one enough? Getting too hot in here. Get out of here. Gotta put the flames out. He commands that I take care of you. You can either die or change like me. Right then. So now the plan is. Oh. It's blocking off all the exits, so that's why you've got to do the uh, the water sprinklers. 
Oh, buggering hell. Why would I do something stupid like that? Ah, the hell happened there? Right. Right, okay. So at least we got past him that time. Now we just need to uh, find a way of getting around behind him. Ugh, more bloody barricade things. Ah, we've got the... Uh, got these things as well. So we can freeze him and then shoot him. Yes, Father Theodore. I told him. Okay, there he is. So can I get behind him? Far too much sneaking around in this game. By the thing now. Ah. Right now, run. <laughs> what do you mean it wasn't fair? You've got a rocket launcher and a flamethrower. How is that fair, asshole? Okay. I'm sorry, Master. I won't let him get away. I promise. So yeah, we just need to keep trying to sneak up behind him, or get him to get close to a uh, a uh, a freeze bottle, and keep stabbing the bastard in the back. The downside to stuff like this is that you can't really tell where the hell they are. I suppose that sort of adds to the sort of fear element, although I don't really find this game that scary. It's more, um... It's more just a sort of action game with sort of limited ammunition and, uh... freaky-looking enemies. It's not really scary. Scary as such. You don't really get the sort of. Oh fuck you! I won't come down easy. So you can't backstab him. Um, just on his own, you have to freeze him first. That's a pain. Right, where are the rest of the freeze bottles? There's one there. So if I can get him near this one. Is he coming that way? Stupid git. Bloody slow boss fight. Too much just sneaking around. There he is. Okay. Oh, fuck it, maybe I can just shoot him and then he'll come over here. Over here, Wombleface. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
fuck. No, I want to hit the fucking... Oh, for fuck's sake. I just... Uh, I think we're out of those bloody things as well. We just stuck shooting him now because that didn't really work the first time. craft a freeze ray. Uh, okay, I can. How many can we have? Three. That might be worthwhile. Right then. Don't want the torch on. Where's Womble Face? So try shooting him with one of these, and then run up and stab him. Here he comes. I'm sorry. I won't let him... Oh shit, okay. Come on, what the... Why can't I backstab him? But he's right fucking there, what the fuck? Oh fuck. Oh. Yeah, I right, will. It's just being a bit more tricky than I was uh, hoping. Right. Okay. Oh, come on. Move, Sebastian. What? Why can't I hit? Why can't I? Ugh. So I can't backstab him with those. I mean, what the fuck? So what am I supposed to do? Just shoot him? Ugh. You just die, you annoying little creature. Stop running. Well, what? So you can catch me and, and kill me? No. Okay, good progress. That's it. I'm done playing with you. Okay, good yeah. progress. Oh shit. Right, I definitely need... Oh, fuck, I need another syringe. Come on. Yes, Father Theodore. I told him. Right then. This one? So where is the bastard now? Okay, well, wherever he is, I think we're going to pause it mid-boss fight, and uh, so we'll finish it in the next part. So thank you for watching, and bye-bye for now.